This is generating G-code for your D3D Universal Pen Plotter using open source tools. An open source ecology tutorial playlist by Melanie. Let's get started. So in this video, I'm just going to do a quick little demonstration of how you can use Squiggle Draw to make something kind of like on the left here. This is a plotted Squiggle Draw selfie that um, the D3D Universal Pen Plotter uh, made using this the file, using the, the very thing I'm about to teach you how to do. Um, so let's kind of get, get oh well before I get started I just want to mention that processing is included in Linux OSE version 2 but uh, school go draw also requires the p5 library so you'll probably need to download that instructions for that will be included with the squiggle draw instructions so once you let me actually show you where you can get squiggle draw um, you can get school draw on GitHub. You'll basically download the zip file to your computer and it will contain the PDE that you need. So I have it saved here. So I go into my school draw directory. And I click schooldraw.pde. Alright, so we wait for it to open. While we wait, yep, there we go. Um, but I just figured I would show you real quick. This was the SVG that you saw pin plotted uh, just a minute ago. Alright, so here you have our processing, and um, you'll see this data for. This is where you'll put your images. So rachelcarson.jpg is the default image that's included, RachelCarson.jpg, and because it's in the data folder, and um, this is pointing to the data folder, we don't need any um, additional file location, you know, information. Um, and we could do the same, so um, let's do a different one. So we're going to do me.jpg. Oh, and also, one more thing, is that you can resize this, and so um, the D3D, we, I'm going to want it to be at uh, less than 120 by 150. I'm going to actually make it even smaller than that, because there's a little bit um, of an area around, and I, I just, so I prefer to make it just a little bit smaller. Okie dokie. So, here is our school draw render. Um, hmm, usually, usually I can resize the window. I'm not exactly sure why I can't do that right now. That's very strange. I am going to move it to a 120 by 150. I just want to see. Huh. I literally just opened this a couple of minutes ago. I'm going to try going back to my other image. I don't know if it's somehow because it was a... No, I mean. See, this is more... So, there may be something with this image file that was causing the behavior that we just saw. And that's what I'm going to assume is going on. Well, moving on. So, we can adjust a few parameters here, and I'm just going to kind of show what that can do. So, if um, right now the connect ends is not set, if we do connect ends, this will make it so that this is how the pen plotter will plot it. Without that, it would 
go to the end and then maybe like pin up and then come back. Um, all right, so I can make less lines. The less lines, the more artsy fartsy maybe, but the more lines, maybe the more, you know, uh, you'll see that maybe the image is a little bit more realistic-ish. Um, you can go up to about 200 lines. Uh, of course, the more lines that you use, the uh, more time it will take your printer. So I'm going to go back to about this amount, just so I can show the difference in squiggle strength. So squiggle strength, um, when you raise the squiggle strength, I'm just taking a second. Oh no, it wasn't. Um, so as you can see, less school strength, strength, it's more like a line. Um, and that can be helpful, kind of, because you can kind of, you know, um, you can make it kind of seem like so. You know, uh, frequency is kind of the, um, how, how soon it goes up, down, up, down, up, down. So like if I do like less, you know, it's like woo, woo. Um, you know, higher frequency and then resolution scale, you know, maybe like rougher uh, line width, you know, that makes it thicker, thinner. Um, there's kind of like what gets done, rendered, you know, black or white. So like that's kind of a neat effect, you know. And then I've noticed that if you kind of like, oh, well sometimes that works, but not today. Anyway, so that is squiggle draw. Okay, and I guess yeah, let's do one that's a little different than the one that I did before, um, is what I'm thinking. So, I want it to look like super artsy fartsy, like, but not like a high school stream, less detail. Um, I just think this is kind of fun. I don't know. I. Eh. Let's do, let's go back, I want, ooh, it's really weird looking. I'm trying to get it back to something that's a little bit more um, real looking. Hmm. Let's go back to default. There we go, default. And then um, I want a little bit less Google strength, a little bit less lines. I want. I'm trying to just sort of, yeah, maybe, and then, um, so let's just say that's what we want. Alright, so we just click Save SVG, and I believe the SVGs all go here. So I think this is the one that we just made. It's a little lighter than the ones that I made before. So I'm going to rename this so that I remember, so, uh, demo. All right, so then this I just had open from the last tutorial, but let's just get rid of it. Um, and let's open a new plotter template. And import our file. It was demo. 
So, yeah. Oh, I didn't go over this. So this is a 100 by 100 is what I set it to. Oh no, I set it to 120 by 150. Now this is also set to 120 by 150. And so I just find that interesting because it's still a square. Mm. So I'm not sure if I need to change the value somewhere else. But just keep in mind, it may be a good idea to make your um, your image the the size of your plotter template before you put it in the squiggle draw. Because it looks like it just used, despite my changing those parameters, it just used the size that my image was. So what I can do is I can select it, I can lock it, and I mean it is an SVG, so I just resize it. But the one reason why you might not want that is if you're going for maybe a specific look, you maybe want it to sort of look as close as what you're going to really have as possible. So. Just keep in mind that it doesn't seem like the uh, the image setting there is the one that works. And maybe if you look through the code yourself, you can find out. So yeah, I have my SVG, and this is really all it takes. So, um, well, ActiDraw has an extension that they recommend using, which is called um, Plot Optimization. And you may want to do that, so you can apply that and it may help. It may help your machine kind of. We'll see how this works out. But really it's as simple as save as G-code at this point. So we're, we're going to leave it as drawing dash one. And we're going to click OK. And then we're going to open it in NC Viewer and we're just going to see like what we have going on here. thought drawing 2 was in my home folder. Mm -mm -mm, but I'm not seeing it. It must not have saved yet. It's, yeah, still working on it. Okay. <coughs> doo -doo -doo. There we go. It's been saved now. Big file. <laughs> All right, so looky there. Um, there's my image, and if I click play, we'll see that it's doing the squiggle. And I bet you this would take quite a 